morning. Um, I'm going to do an abstract for you today. And um, it's 8 by 10, arches, 140 pound uh, cold press. It's really nice paper. And it's 8 by 10. I'm painting small these days. I hope you don't mind, but it's easier this way for me. And so this morning, I woke up and I was thinking about this verse in the Bible. And Jesus said, Verily, verily, which he means, truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. And he also said, so when both where this is, and thou hearest not thereof, but cannot tell where it comes from, and whither it goes, so everyone that is born of the Spirit is like that. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you're born again today. That doesn't mean you go back into your mother's womb. It means you accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and He uh, it comes into your heart, and you are born again into His love and grace. He died for you. For your sins he died. And so today, that's my verse. And now on my... I'm using my <coughs> Bombay ink. comes in a little like this. It has a little dry dropper. It has all different colors. And so today I thought I'd start with this ink and show you how bright it is. I hope. I'm going to start with yellow. Look at that. But I'll tell you one thing. If you get on there, it's on there. So I'm putting it on and a little water to it. Maybe over here. And then I've got some um, kind of an orange. I'm going to use this an orange, I think. This is a little heavier, a little heavier ink. See, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want, as long as it's... You can add water to it and make it lighter, see. But then, after it dries, it's there. But I thought I'd try some today. And uh, there's also, um, I have a, a red, and that's really red. I think it's uh, almost purple red. Agenda. I never can remember that name. Anyway, I'm just having fun today. It's just, you know, you're doing these kind of things because this is how you learn. I've been doing these songs for 27 or 70 years. You know, I'll be 80 or 90, 98 pretty soon. That's the aqua ink. And put some down here. And that's really bright. See, it's not heavy. You come up and cover that. See how different it is here because it's real heavy. And uh, I don't want to lose that orange. I see you can take this off like this. With water, just plain water, you can take it off. 
I don't want to lose my orange. I like that orange. I'm going to come back in with some of it. Right in here. Over here. See how different it is when it's um <coughs> My thought's not too good to take thoughts. Anyway, that's on heavier. That's on heavier. <coughs> and um, I guess that's that Michigan frog, you know. This is, and this is the yellow. I'm going to add some water to that to make it. And those pretty colors. I have some dark blue pastel and I'm just going to kind of come in here with it. Like this. It has a different kind of a feeling if you put over ink. And also, one thing about pastel, you can take a wet brush and you can just soften it right down. But you still get the kind of grainy effect. Pastel. It's kind of interesting to use. I think I've got this orange here and um, I'm going to try just a little bit on there. See how it comes out. Down here. Maybe a penny here. Bring in some water. It's interesting to work with. Okay, now I'm going this this up and down, and uh, let's see. I have a it's a purple and red. Cherry color, right there. Put that. See, this is just gonna be a abstract, but I'm just showing you. Uh, so far, I haven't used any watercolor at all. This is ink. See what that ink does it. So uh, I'm gonna try spraying it. I think it's too dry to do anything. But I'm gonna see what happens. This ink does different things. I haven't played around with ink very much. It's not like watercolor, you know, it doesn't run down like watercolor. And while it's wet, I've got this pink and pastel. I'm just making shapes. Maybe some over here. I always like to add my colors different. Some down in here. That's a pretty color. And I need a, here's a blue. This 
my time cold is so pretty. The gold will run, you see. Watercolor runs very pretty, and I like watercolor. Here's some watercolor, you know, aqua. You can see the difference. Now watch what the watercolor does. See? This runs down. Turn it like this. Look at it. Don't look like much to me. Um, I'm going to use my gold watercolor again. And I'm going to do something like this. You didn't know I was going to do that, did you? Well, you don't like something. You just go in and try other stuff. But you see the ink? The ink won't come off. So now I'm going to spray this this way. Right in those two spots, I'll make it lighter. Spread. You see, I'm just showing you different things you can do. Yes, pastel. And that will. But the ink, forget it, that's, I kind of like that right there anyway. But get my, this little lighter in here. It's sort of like, I'm thinking, um, abstract, and I'm also thinking about what the Bible says about being born again. I've been born again because I've accepted the Lord into my heart. This is purple um, watercolor. I'm back. This is orange ink. I'm putting it there. Just throw that down there. It's just right here that I'm not too sure about. Maybe it's something drastic on this. I've got some of my regular watercolor in Hydra. It's real heavy. And uh, I'm going to use a little bit on this. Just let it run down. Maybe a little bit over here. It's real heavy. It has a, a 
eyedropper. Maybe I could make this some more. Something different. I probably, if I wasn't making this for a video, I'd probably just say, oh. Now I'm going to just use a small brush and come in here. Make some different shapes. Could be kind of a city type of thing. Just remember the verse I told you you must be born again and by accepting Christ in your heart. Um, he forgives all your sins and then you are born again and you're ready for heaven. I hope today that you take these things and think about them. And um, as I look at the painting, it sort of reminds me a little bit of a city. Uh, you know, this world is getting really dangerous. And uh, I peace because I know where I'm going. Do you know where you're going when you die? I hope so. I just appreciate all that you do by listening to me preaching to you. I do it for the Lord because I want you to be up there painting with me in heaven. And I know I've got a big mansion up there and a studio. I can paint the universe. Think what that is think of it. I hope you enjoyed this and try some of this funny material. It's got so much in it and uh, sometimes you can use too much. But I thank you again and goodbye. That's it, folks.